Well, spring is on its way and chefs and restaurant owners are turning their menus over for the new season. Mark Perrier is the chef owner of Savio Volpe. He's also in charge of Pepino's Spaghetti House and Cafe Latana. He's brought something green for us today. Hello. Hi. Hi. So, so tell me about, um, about this kale salad. It's a signature of your restaurant. Tell me, it tell is. me more about it. It is. So the, the kale salad here is the signature restaurant, a signature dish at Savio Volpe. Um, and what I like about it is uh, kale grows really well here in Vancouver, so I'm able yeah. to get a year-round supply um, of, uh, of nice local uh, Tuscan kale. This is actually called Cavolo Nero. It's a black Tuscan kale. It's got multiple names. It's also known as dinosaur kale. Okay. Okay. So um, really simple dish. It's only got a few components. Um, it actually comes out tasting a little bit like a Caesar salad, but it's a little bit healthier because of the kale. Okay, yeah. so you start so, by chopping it up? Yeah, so it's gotta it be, up. you gotta take out the ribs, and then we're gonna just slice it nice and thin. Um, and I've got a little bit here that I've already cut. So if I could okay. just get you to yeah. just actually, this is something that most people wouldn't do, but we actually massage the kale. Massage so just get the it, kale, okay. Rub so the kale as hard as you can. And that's, as hard as I can. Yeah, okay, that's okay. going to break down some so of the this, fibers in the I'm kale. Getting the fibers out and flavored as well? Uh, I don't know about the flavor, but yeah. you know, if you deal with kale sometimes, it can be a little bit fibrous. So oh, this okay. step here just sort of helps start to break it down before we dress the salad. So this um, is more about getting uh, changing the texture. Changing the texture and making it making it more palatable. Okay, uh, more palatable. Yeah, the the flavor in the dressing is um, the main com the main main flavors: garlic, anchovy, black pepper, lemon, and olive oil. Uh, similar to a Caesar salad dressing, not really exactly, but uh, some of the similar flavors in there. Yeah, that, that looks That's about good. good. Yeah. So and this is the sauce we were just talking yeah. about with the anchovies and anchovies, olive oil, lemon juice, garlic. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the dressing in there. And then we also have some Pecorino Romano, which is a sheep cheese. Oh, wow. From Italy. We have some pan gratto, which are breadcrumbs that have been fried with garlic and olive oil. It gives kind of a little bit of a crunch. And um, that's mm, it. Starting and to then we great. just sort of toss it together. I'll give it a taste and then we can Plate some more up. Yeah, so, you know, this I, this dish never leaves the menu. Mo the majority of the menu mm. at Savio Volpe changes actually on a daily basis based on what's seasonal, what's local, what's fresh. Um, and that is really cooking, at least in my opinion, in the Italian spirit, right? You're going to use what's, what's available, what's fresh. You're going to cook yeah. it in an Italian way. And, um, you know, you end up doing some different dishes that maybe aren't exactly Italian, but the spirit's there. And, and that's really what I aim for, simple. Yeah. Simple food, you know, simple ingredients, quality ingredients. Why is that part of it, the local food, the, the simple ingredients, why is that so important to you personally? Uh, it tastes better, you it tastes know? Better. It tastes okay. better, it's less fussy. Um, you know, you're supporting the local farmers. Yep. All of, you know, they, they, the guys that I work with, sorry, the, the men and women that I work with are, you know, it's normally organic farming as well. Can so. I have a taste of this? Sure, yeah, okay. let, me, uh, let me just... A little bit of fresh lemon juice. The lemon, that's Some, my favorite. A little bit more olive oil. This is actually a proprietor, oil, proprietor olive oil. Okay. And where do you get the olive oil from? Um, this is, we actually sell this at Cafe Latana. That's ah, our other, that's awesome. our other uh, recently opened up cafe. So, yeah, here. So, I'll... Like that. And then we'll go with more... So it gives the illusion of being healthy because there's actually a lot of cheese and bread. But <laughs> yeah. Let's try it out. There you go. Yeah, and uh, most of a lot of the ingredients that we use to make the dressing are actually available at uh, at our cafe, Cafe Latana. It's a new grocery store, um, grocery store cafe that we opened up on Commercial Drive. So you can get the anchovies there, mm, the garlic. The that olive is oil. so amazing. You're right. It's, it's like very simple ingredients, but it's fantastic. It's light. It's, I can see it's, why it's so popular. It's, it's crunchy. Mm. It's a nice counterpoint to a lot of the pastas that we sell as well. And you brought some things from your grocery store that you just mentioned. Uh, Tell me about some of those. We did, yeah. Products. So, I mean, we, we've tried to basically um, stock the store up like a, like a really good Italian larder, you know. So if you wanted to come, most of the ingredients that you're, that you're going to need, different vinegars, olive oil, tomato. We also sell like dried mushrooms, dried pasta. Uh, a really big part of the store actually is the fresh pasta program. So we actually make all the handmade fresh pasta there as well. We have that, we have that on offer as well. So you can come get your fresh pasta. 
Um, and we actually have as well, we've got recipe cards here that lay out sort of basic pasta sauces and then we have all the ingredients. So sort of a one, a one shop stop. Awesome. Thank you yeah. for coming in You're and welcome. have happy spring to you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thanks. Awesome. That's delicious. You like it?